Hey K2 Fitters, Coach Kara here and it is day one of the eight day blitz and you can tell it's a new day because I changed my hair or I just put it up. All right, I'm a big dork. Let's get that out of the way real quick. All right, moving on to day one, we're going to do full body and I want to explain how it works so you're very clear on how to do it. You've got three supersets. So that means one and two are together, three and four are together, five and six are together. So you're gonna do all sets, one, two, one, two, one, two, back and forth until you complete your level of how many sets you do. Once you've completed that, you see the black line, you're gonna move down to three, four, three, four, three, four. Okay, complete those. And then you finish with five, six, five, six, five, six for the amount of sets that you can do. Then you are done. Okay, a few notes that I want you to look at here. If something is too hard right now, like you can't do the squat with a weight, just do a regular squat. Walking lunge, for example, if that's too hard with weight right now, I want you to just do it body weight. That's totally cool. And same with number five, if you're not ready for weights, just do it unweighted and get used to the movement first because you're gonna get stronger and then you'll be able to add weights later. All right, keep watching. The exercise videos are coming up. All right, it's time to sprint. So I want you to set out a marker as far as you can. If you're in your house, it might be shorter, but set out a marker, go as fast as you can. Touch, and go the other way. Touch, and do that for time. Okay, for the goblet squat, you are gonna grab one dumbbell or a kettlebell. Okay, it should be pretty heavy. And I want you to stand uh, shoulder width apart and go a little bit wider. So our normal squat would be about this way, guys. I want you a little bit wider. And with that, your toes are going to face out the same as the way the knees are going. Okay? So get down nice and low. Pick up your weight. And we're going to transfer that weight to your he the heels of your hand. Or if it's kettlebell, you can hold on. All right? And holding it chest level, can sit against your chest. We sit down. Try and go below 90 degrees or or Okay, and drive using your quads and your butt. Squeeze your bum at the top and make sure you're getting full range of motion. Down and up, okay? And then when you finish, go down, there you go. All right, it's push-up time. Okay, get on your mat, your floor, put your hands directly below your shoulders at first, okay? So shoulder width apart or slightly wider is okay and pop up from your knees, okay? So now you can see my hands are in line with my chest as I drop down and press. Drop down, press. Nice and straight at the top, keeping everything in line. So our head and our backs nice and straight. If that's too hard for you, you can go down to your knees, okay? So still, same position, hands there, keep the bum down, okay? Okay, there's one thing I want you to know when you're building a push-up strength it is good to go to your feet so as soon as you get good at knee push-ups please go back up to your feet and go even halfway like that just get used to it and then you'll gradually get lower and lower as you get stronger all right let's go for the weighted walking lunge take a dumbbell in each hand holding at your sides throughout the movement so I want you to walk forward and down. Step through, squeeze the butt at the back, stand nice and tall, and as you go down, both legs are at 90 and stand tall. If you can't hold your balance yet, you can step together and keep going in that motion. Keep the shoulders back, chest nice and high. Later on, add that lift and squeeze your butt at the top. All right, here we go. We're gonna do squat to press. So I want you to bring those dumbbells up to the front of your shoulders, elbows tucked in, abs are tight. You're gonna sit into your squat. As you come up, stand tall and press overhead. Okay, so sitting into your squat and press. So you're gonna use the force of your standing and power those weights up over to your head. Okay, and I want you to turn as well. So you're not going just straight up. You're gonna stand. Turn those dumbbells right to the middle. Stand, press, press, squat, press. Here we go, it's time to plank. Now I'm gonna give you a few options. So depending on your level, you can do either the hardest level or the more beginner level and work your way up. 
So first we're gonna start on the ground and I want you to put your elbows directly under your shoulders, okay? And from that position, you're gonna pop up onto your toes, keeping the back nice and straight. The neck is in line with your spine as well. So holding that position, abs tight and squeeze your butt, okay? If that's too hard, you can create a bigger base of support by putting your legs out, okay? Holding there. If that's too hard and we need to bring it down, we're gonna bring it down to our knees by keeping our feet on the ground and keeping that nice straight position. So we don't plank like this, right? We wanna be in that nice straight position there, holding your abs tight. And as you get stronger, you're gonna be able to do the full plank in no time. And you're gonna hold for time as long as you can.